Hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to Ateneo de Davao's Moodle Training. I'll be your course technician for this tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to add a file resource. In the course section, at the top right corner of the screen, click Turn Editing On. Scroll down, then click an activity or resource. Look for a file, resource, and click it. As you can see on the screen, this is what you will see when you add a file. Files are not just materials such as word process documents or slideshow presentations. All files can be uploaded and accessed through Moodle. So name, this is where we write the name of our file. Where the students see on the course page. So for example, we will type in online enrollment. You can put description here in the in this text box. So, for example, this course is about online enrollment. Aside from text, you can also insert an image, insert or edit an audio or video file. You can record the audio or video or upload video and audio in that text box. So if you want to display the description on the main course page, just click this box, otherwise you may leave it blank. So by adding a file, you can drag and drop the file here, or you can use this one to upload a file. So click Add, choose File, and upload this file so the appearance you can use the default setting common module settings leave it in its default option so show course on page so the activity or resource is available to students Restrict access, you can use the default setting for now. Activity completion is tracked manually or automatically based on a certain conditions. You can select do not indicate activity completion. Students can manually mark the activity as completed or show activity as complete when conditions are met. To support an asynchronous mode of learning, let's select the option Show Activity as Complete when Conditions are Met. The activity will only be considered complete when all conditions are met. In this case, after a student has opened and viewed this page. Then click student must view this activity to complete it. You can also set a deadline when the activity is expected to be completed by the student. To do this, just click enable. For our example, we will set the deadline on October 29. 10 a.m. Once you are done, click save and return to course. So your file has been created. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. I enjoyed sharing these tips with you. Leave us feedback and please subscribe to this channel. And check out our other video tutorials as well. Enjoy learning. Thank you.